coming out and uh, hope you had a lovely Easter. I did, I did do a new session tonight, but I forgot to print them out. So, if you want to have a look on my computer, feel free. <laughs> um, and my brother will be joining us tonight, apparently, won't he? Uh, with his, uh, what's he going to play, the spoons, do you think? Or uh, <laughs> going to do a spoons solo? <laughs> well, you can have a spoon off. Yeah, well, we can do a spoon Oh, that'd be great. A spoon <laughs> we're going to do because uh, we've got um, a nice lot of time tonight. We're going to do we're going to do three songs to start, and then all our lovely uh, floor spots. We're all going to do three songs, so it's going to be great. And then, uh, if we've got time, Matt and Paul might do something at the end. So we're going to do a song that we haven't played for quite a long time. So it's high risk strategy. Yeah. Have you got the words? No. Oh, look, we can hear you, I'll wing it. I went to uh, uh, Matt, uh, ran a really lovely, and uh, his friend Hattie ran a fantastic songwriting workshop um, a couple of weeks ago that I went to. And um, uh, we were like talking about, you know, uh, sort of uh, meaningful songs and lyrics and all this sort of stuff, weren't we? And, um, Making like every word count and everything, but this song is like the antithesis of this. Really, yeah, it's completely like meaningless. <laughs> but good fun. We like playing this. <laughs> and uh, I should have my shaker, but I couldn't find it. Oh, you couldn't find your shaker. Oh, yeah, you're more useless tonight between you, honestly. <laughs> what do you mean right, between you me? I've been great. You've been brilliant. Jay, do you want to start? Jay, is this started already? But I did find my uh, flick sticks. I didn't know if you saw the other day. So you might have to. Uh, so this is called. Um, it's called Voodoo Queen. Just a charm away from 
snake eyes smile and the taste of blood. Songs of life with the sounds of lights. This snake don't know her wrong from her rights. Oh, your charm won't do you no good. Here comes the voodoo queen. They say she's crazy and they say she's mean. She's your worst nightmare. to sing happy birthday to my oh, big yeah. sister. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was several birthdays. Yes, yes, yes. family. Yeah. 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 Let's say happy birthday to, what, like 40% of the tipplers. Yeah. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. song again that I wrote to, um, after Matt's workshop uh, a couple of weeks ago and uh, we've hardly played it but we'll give it a go. Do you want to say what the story behind it is? Yeah, so it's, uh, this is bass. It's, no, I mean it, came, it was inspired by Uncle Bill. Uh, was, uh, he got the military cross in World War II uh, in Italy for um, uh, for being really hard basically, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask her now because um, you'll be here all night. She'll tell us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she'll <should, should. laughs> <laughs> ask, her, ask her later because you'll get the full It's story. nice when your mum's here because story. you don't have a moan at me for talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> true, that's true. Uh, but uh, no, Bill was a bit of a war hero and uh, got a military cross uh, in Italy. Uh, but this isn't this song, this, this uh, features Bill and Rainey. Um, but only by name, really. It's just sort of, Matt did an exercise where we were uh, putting uh, characters into different situations. And I put Bill into, basically into Topshop in Lakeside, <laughs> which uh, is like totally alien. What? Yeah, exactly. Go with it. <laughs> no, no, no. It's the less Dawson version. Less Dawson on clarinet. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of here for you. 
remember. Everybody here is on What have they got to say, I wonder? I can't recall my landline number. Plastic taps to stop the steaming. Floodlights blazing from the ceiling. Giving me that dizzy feeling. Where's the bloody exit sign? Watch the quiet ones they say Go for bravely all the way participation if you're in the mood. Um, my family are usually in the mood. Or in a mood. 
It's called Come On Home. And uh, yeah, it's uh, written after it's written after Hurricane Katrina. Features Mr. Tipler on whistle.
Richard. Right? Look at your being here again. And um, we've played here a few times, and this is a Bob Dylan song that we did our very first um, outing here. And uh, it doesn't have a chorus, but I will do a Geordie song with a chorus at the end, so Yay! just get your tongues around the Geordie later on. Uh, Does it involve fishies? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're vegan, darling, so we so, 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 don't talk about fish anymore. <laughs> Now this is uh, Love Minus Zero. I think it was written for Joan Baez, and it's a beautiful love song. The words are just wonderful. And uh, you probably remember it from back in the 60s. And she wrote this song and she did it during one of the sessions. I like that. We could do that one. So she very kindly handed it over for us to do. And uh, yeah, it's just a really pretty song. Mm. Seagulls. Yeah. What's nice is she's from California, but she comes over to England now once a year for like a little festival <coughs> for all the people who are together on Zoom. And she's a lovely, lovely lady. So I'm <coughs> probably just in time. Why don't you want to pull it? I don't know. 
he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's an old friend. I was an old friend. It's his birthday. songs. I used to do it um, to the tune, uh, to have the words advertised in the Castle Brown Ale. It's a strong beer, it's a bottle beer with the north, but this is Cushy Butterfield. And the chorus is, she's a big lass, she's a bonny lass, and she likes her beer. And I call her Cushy Butterfield, and I wish she was here. <laughs> I got that one. Um, I sang this at my daughter's wedding about six years ago, and she's not a big lass, she's very, very petite and she doesn't drink here, but it went down well anyway. So she's a big lass, she's a bonny lass. Why well, I'm a broken heart of key like and I'm our heels in love. With a big lass from Gilson, we call her the dog. I got a name is Cushy Butterfield, she sells yellow clear. I had a cousin as a bookman in the cold and dumb way. She's a big lass, she's a funny lass, and she likes her beer. But they call her because she wouldn't feel, and I wish she was here. La 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 Goloshes, stock as white was white, and a petticoat is a lilac, and a hat's her bustle. She's a big 
lost she's a bonnie lass she's a great lass she's a bonnie lass and she likes her beer she's a great lass she's a bonnie lass and she likes her beer and the call her cuz she would have feel and I wish she was here ah la 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 she would have feel and I wish she was here ah la 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 Well, I asked her for the Marius, and she started to laugh. Uh -huh. She says, "No, none of your fancy tricks. I'm happy such chaff." And she starts a bubbling, born like a bull. And the chaps on the key says, "I'm never a fool." She's a big lass. She's a bonny lass, and she likes her beer. And they call her 'cause she's got the feel, and I wish she was here. I like. She says the challenge gets us. We'll have to work every day. I and mean, when he comes to you, but need to guarantee play. While I'm away, singing, play, play balls and sing. We met the key roll that my laddie's in last time. She's a big lass. She's a bonny lass, and she likes her beer. But they call her 'cause she's got a feel, and I wish she was here. And they finish, and they call her. And hearing songs in foreign languages like that. Is awesome. <laughs> uh, I grew up. My nana was from Newcastle, and um, I still never learned it. Hands in the air. Yes. Especially with the teachers in the room. That one. Uh, okay. Um, uh, right, Bruce. I think you can do one solo, aren't you, Bruce? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I look forward to this. Yeah, we, we, we were thinking only two, so we only prepared two songs. So, yeah. Um, yeah. I would sing this one, but I, I tried to get the lyrics on late, so I'm not entirely sure of it. It's a bit, bit sort of nasal today, so I'd probably sing one. But um, do sing on if you sort of read them. Yeah.
In the rooms the women come and go Talking on their mobile phones The television talks about the war And the television talks about the war enjoying the subtleties of the English language like a strain of Elgar wafted on a sunscreen <laughs> <laughs> on a spring morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's what you can do with it, you see. It's like, I'm back. I'm back, back. Right? I'm back, back, back. I'm back. <laughs> and, um, I'm very, very happy to be back because the music is so fantastic here and the people are so fantastic. And um, people listen when you play music, which is brilliant. Sometimes, sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. sometimes you have to pick your spot. Um, <laughs> not that one. Um, so, yeah, happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Easter. And um, not a lot of people know this, but I am in fact an Essex girl myself. <laughs> so no further. No further. Um, and I was going to do a lovely springy song for you, but um, I'm not now. Um, I was looking forward to doing a song that I wrote about my heart condition, painful but not serious, called My Heart is a Twat. <laughs> because I haven't been able to do it originally. It's not enough to explain what a twat is. <laughs> I mean, I can't even explain to you, but it's not the, um, you know, it's not the uh, the rude meaning. I use it. It's sort of like a twit, but uh, worse. Because <laughs> then you've got to explain what a twit is. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you're going to help me with this one. I am, and uh, hopefully will always remain, just a little bit gypsy. This song is called A Little Bit Gypsy, and I would love it if you would sing, or say, little bit, immediately after I say it. Can we just practice that little bit? Little bit. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> um, that's a good. <laughs> I'm a little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit.
Unsurprisingly, Jess Bravo, go to the door. The class is a small class, but you're all top class. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and um, I need some emergency whistling help in the middle because I'm having a little trouble with my whistle. The embouchure isn't quite what it was. Yes, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> oh Lord. Make me a designer vagina <laughs> Sew it up as tight as it can be <laughs> Yeah, Lord, make me a designer vagina Cause the one you gave me ain't good enough for me <laughs> The one you gave me ain't good enough for me
Well, the doctor is laughing at the airport. The doctor he is smoking on the plane and on arrival at the most expensive destination. He toasts the part she played with his champagne. Oh yes, he toasts the part she played with his champagne. And then he toasts the part she played again. This goes out to women without choices. This goes out to little girls without a voice. Surely they must find it quite ironic. We should pay for mutilation out to choice. Just because we dig it up, please the boys. We let ourselves be treated like toys. Now, super whistlers, pucker up! <laughs> She's gonna love you like a cat. <laughs> <laughs> and then two years later, the karmic wheel turned and he caught her with another man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <coughs> so a son was born and it turned out to be prophetic. Having said that, um, he's turned out to be a uh, a good father to his children, and what's more, he gave me a citrus bilingo. <laughs> so, we love him really. <laughs> anyway, obviously, I need help with the cat noises. Can we just. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, Yeah. <laughs> 
the river Rother from New Romney to Rye. It was a colossal, like nothing we've ever imagined, but it threw up a giant shingle bank, um, really running uh, west from the castle. And uh, people ended up, because, you know, the reason the net huts are so high in Hastings, it's squashed into this little valley. And like today, rent was really expensive, houses were really expensive, lots of people came into town, this and the other. And they ended up well, there was nowhere else to do. They ended up living on this shingle, this big area shingle bank. And they were there for quite a long time. They lived under upturned boats and they built their own houses or businesses there and paid rent to it. There was no one apparently owned it. And uh, they were there for about 50, 60 years in the end. And um, there was an act of parliament and they, they, they were kind of fiercely independent area. And the council tried to boot them off. They booted the council out. And they, they flew as stars and stripes as a symbol of... Not affiliation with America, but a uh, you know, state of their own independence because America have got its own independence within living memory. And um, so they called themselves the Hastings Americans. The area became known as the American Crown. And uh, me and my mate, we've written a musical about it, <laughs> which is it's an allegory, really, about today's housing problems, which still affect many coastal towns. The rent is extraordinarily expensive, houses are ridiculous. A load of people have moved into town, and that dynamic has all shifted. So it's an allegory. It's based in the past. A, a lot of characters have actually um, used them, the, the characters uh, from history. But um, it's an allegory of today's housing crisis. So we've got, um, you know, we, we, we pitched for um, some money for Historic England, and we've got that. Um, and the Arts Council so have actually raised pretty much all the money we need. I'm not shaking my tin, by the way, this one, but it's, uh, so we're pretty much there with the whole show to put it on in, in June. And um, this is this is one, I've written the songs with my mate John's read the script, it's, it's, so look out for it, it's in June. But this song is called um, A Storm Is Coming, and um, 
And, it, and it's about that issue, essentially, but it's, it's about the American crowd itself. And there's a chorus. Hey! Hey! hey. 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 We clearly all love choruses. <laughs> the chorus goes, Storm is coming, it's written the sky. Storm is coming for you and for I. There's too much or not enough, you cannot deny. Changes are coming, you'll see by and by. Okay, we've got that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, Hastings, oh Hastings, that town of repute. Once fishermen smocks, now estate agent suits. You can drink and be merry from morning till night. Oh, worry your income, your outcome's too tight. A storm is coming, it's rent in the sky. Storm is coming for you and for I. There's too much or not enough, you cannot deny. The changes are coming, you'll see by and by. Ending my landscape, our backs to the sea. Ain't no place to move to, no place to be free. Cause we're priced out of George Street, no means to leave, let alone get a house. And your own family, cause the storms are coming, it's written the sky. The storms are coming for you and for I. There's too much or not enough, you cannot deny. The changes are coming, you'll see by and by. We hear distant thunder way over in France. Is it Wellington's gun spoiling Bonaparte's chance? They say revolution won't happen this way, but plenty of people's got plenty to say. A storms are coming, it's written the sky. A storms are coming for you and for I. There's too much and not enough, you cannot deny. The changes are coming, you'll see by and by. Cause there's one rule for them and another for us. Just keep on surviving and don't make a fuss. There's work if you want it, but not enough pay. Cause there'll be no tomorrow if you can't make today. A storm's are coming, it's written the sky. A storm's are coming for you and for I. There's too much or not enough, you cannot deny. As changes are coming, you'll see by and by. Ground ended. They, they did all get booted out in the end. The, the, there was an act of parliament that decided the crown owned it, and all the so the crown took it over. They all got booted out. They then sold it to a gentleman called Briscoe, who made all of his money from slave trading. In fact, he got he was recompensed from freeing all these slaves. They only paid this off a few years ago. He was actually given, not the slaves, he was given compensation. So he ended up buying the America ground with that. He then leased it on a thousand year lease to a gentleman called Robertson from Robertson Street. And he made all his money from selling opium to the Chinese. <laughs> so you've got a drug dealer and a slave, and, you know, this country. <laughs> I'm going to sing a sea shanty anyway, just to, um, this is a song called Ruben Ramsey. Uh, we, do, we sing this in the Jenny and Lynn sometimes. And, um, this is quite a belter. Poor old Reuben Ranzo, Ranzo, me boys, Ranzo. 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 Now Ranzo was no beauty. Ranzo, me boys, Ranzo, he buggered up all his duties. Ranzo, me boys, Ranzo, so they gave him five and thirty. Ranzo, me boys, Ranzo, because he was so dirty. Ranzo, me boys, Ranzo, poor old Reuben Ranzo. Ranzo, me boys, Ranzo, poor old Reuben Ranzo. Ranzo, me boy, Ranzo. Now Ranzo was no sailor. Ranzo, me boy, Ranzo. He was a New York tailor. 
Aranzo, me boys, Aranzo, yeah, Aranzo was no sailor. Aranzo, me boys, Aranzo, he was a New York tailor. Aranzo, me boys, Aranzo, poor old Reuben Ranzo. Aranzo, me boys, Aranzo, poor old Reuben Ranzo. Ranzo, me boys, Ranzo, the captain's daughter Susie. Ranzo, me boys, Ranzo, she begged her dad for mercy. Ranzo, me boys, Ranzo, she gave him wine and water. Ranzo, me boys, Ranzo, and a lot more than she ought to. Ranzo, me boys, Ranzo, poor old Reuben Ranzo. Ranzo, me boys, Ranzo, poor old Reuben Ranzo. Ranzo, me boys, Ranzo, now he got his first mate papers. Ranzo, me boys, Ranzo, he's now a skipper on a whaler. Ranzo, me boys, Ranzo, and now wherever those whalefish blow. Ranzo, me boys, Ranzo, he's the finest skipper on the go. Ranzo, me boys, Ranzo, poor old Reuben Ranzo. Ranzo, me boys, Ranzo, poor old Reuben Ranzo. Ranzo, me boys, Ranzo. Well sung. Yeah. 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 Uh, right, before we have the break, uh, Jim and Chase are going to do another one uh, before we uh, we get into the uh, the intermission. Is everyone going acoustic? We'll go acoustic. Yeah. Yeah. I'm only going to do this one because. Uh, you might have noticed there are one or two tipplers here. Woo! And, um, Woo! Uh, it seems rude not to, really. <laughs> Just a second. <laughs> it's got five seats. Hey! Oh. 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 They, they've heard it. I, I have to apologise for my little sister, to, for my little sister, yeah, to my yeah. little sister. Both. I do a dance. Yes! I do a dance.
I'm not terribly good at horticulture. But listen, it gets better. <laughs> <laughs> And the wind it blows and the rain it does come down And those my seeds did fall so well with the roots in solid ground And the fire it blows and the wind it blows and the rain it does come down And those my seeds they grew so well with the roots in solid Uh, eat, drink, and drink. Oh, don't forget to take everything away with you. And um, then we've got. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, don't empty. Don't empty. Uh, and then we'll have uh, the brilliant MG Balter and Paul uh, uh, after. after. Uh, right, um, well, uh, we'll continue our slightly unusual bluebell roots this evening um, with our, uh, uh, our main guests. Uh, well, if, if you could swallow a little less loudly or chew a little less loudly, that would be lovely. Uh, but we'd love for you to welcome, please, M.G. Balter. Uh, with Paul. Thank you. Oh, I should, uh, sorry, I should interrupt again. Um, well, one of the speakers has forgotten the words as well tonight. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I'm on the left, on my left, and Paul's on uh, our right. And thank you so much, everyone. This is, um, we've just really enjoyed just being here, even if we weren't playing. I think it's worth the visit. And um, uh, happy Easter, everyone, and happy birthday to so everyone who's having their special day today. We hope Everybody. you make it better. Uh, we're going to open, this is a song uh, called Midnight Movies. Thoughts that would bury you if you offered them out loud. Your love song is too old to sing, too late for broken words, your heart covered in stains. Oh, Marie, you know it ain't so.
track your traces and I walk down your street Midnight movies, these lies that I keep Boring down on my knees Crawling through the dirt and I am so sorry That I have thought that I could South End on Sea. So not too far. It's fair, this is a fairly local gig for us. I actually I came from Coventry today because uh, I had a gig in Coventry last night. But normally I'm coming from South End. And a few years ago I um, I released an album about South End because I've I've lived there most of my life. I grew up there, and uh, and it's uh, it's a much maligned place at times. It's it's overlooked, and it is very much a typical British seaside town. But there's a lot of stuff underneath it all. So I, I wrote lots of songs uh, about it um, to try and explain it and try, try and get it off my chest, I suppose. And the album was called Cliff Town, and uh, we're going to sing you quite a few songs from it tonight, and we're going to start with the title track. So this is Cliff Town, i.e. South End on Sea. Or as June said, South End. <laughs> as we call it. <laughs> to the dog. 
say town, it's a city now, it's a very proud city, and um, it's, uh, as you all are probably aware, it has the longest pleasure pier in the world, and uh, there's not much on it to make it pleasure, but the walk is beautiful, once you get out there, it's, it's very transcendental, but South End was also the home of pub rock back in the 70s, and it's still very proud of that, all the pubs still are full of uh, blues rock music, and in fact I was taught pedal steel guitar by Vic Collins from the Curzel Flyers, oh, uh, who yeah. still plays pedal steel around and about. And I was once graced, I was very lucky to stand in front of Wilco Johnson in my local branch of Barclays Bank. <laughs> <laughs> I was there. We share the same bank. We have well, shut it now, so... Thanks so bad if he was playing there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, and I, used, I sort of cut my musical teeth in South End, both me and Paul did, playing rock and roll uh, in all the pubs, and uh, there would always be some uh, uh, older guys at the back leaning against the bar, and once you finish, they'd always give you drunken words of wisdom. So this next <laughs> song is uh, inspired by that, and it's called Fan of the Bag. trajectory of a, of a home county's uh, musician, a pub rocker certainly. And I got in with a crowd of, uh, of guys who were just slightly older than me and had done a few more gigs than me. And uh, we used to do these dash and grab gigs up in London, which is where you go, you play sort of like a late afternoon on a Sunday or you, you're first on the bill on a, a weekday. You get paid and then you can either get the car or the train back and be in your own bed at the end of the evening. But what we used to do, this band, we used to go up to London by train, we'd play in sort of Clerkenwell and places, get paid and then we'd drink all the money <laughs> the same day. And uh, 
the lead singer, he was really terrible because he, we used to drink and then we'd give ourselves like 30 minutes to get back to the last train and we'd always be running. And luckily I was in my early 20s so I was fit enough to, to run down Fenchurch Street. But the city of London at night, I, I, I found really fascinating, I still do, when you're going for those trains because no one's there, there's no residences there, it's all sort of banks and, and insurance companies, but they leave the lights on. So you have this city, everything's alight, but there's no one there, and, and the only people you invariably see are the sort of security guards in, in these big foyers, and they're like sort of Edward Hopper paintings, you know, like yeah. sort of diamonds, and sort of darkness yeah. beyond. And then you juxtaposition that with the last train home, which we call the Vomit Comet in South <laughs> And, uh, oh, the things I've seen, the things I've seen. So I wrote a song about it, uh, about all those things, the quietness of the city at night and um, the nuttiness of the last train home, and it's called Night Work. <laughs> Thoughts of the morning in humble in the street, the gate of your walk in this moonlight city. Drunk girl, drunk girl, leaving too soon. The party's off tomorrow, will never live up to you. Stilettos in your hand and your heart on your sleeve. Go home to the comfort of midnight and sleep. For the sky is like a blanket over the street, and the river is like a river rolling out to the sea, and the gargoyles they sit. On the steeple and the spire, when it rains, they cry bitter tears into the gutters. Like a child, and you hold. 